Hello my beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. My name is Sanya and before we even start, I just want to save the attention. This video might be triggering the end. Now I don't know how I'm gonna title this video. Still, I'm inspired today by one of your comments. So we're gonna talk about that today. I wasn't sure what I'm gonna film be filming today and I got a sign I believe in signs. So this video must be recorded today, now and for you. I have a video as I post here on my Instagram channel. If you're not following me, I'll link them down below. I also have TikTok, threads, Facebook, everything will be linked down below. And on my Instagram channel, this person said that I should not be naming certain people perfect and to stop saying that they're perfect. However, I've never said that in that video. There is not even that word being mentioned. So I explained, obviously, that when you text someone, even when you say certain things to someone, they are going to see it, hear it, read it the way that they are. And although in my head this was kind, this was very in a kind way explained, I was very sure how I'm going to make the sentence, uh, this person got even more frustrated later on. However, let's stick to this first. I did reply, first of all, no one is perfect. I never even said in the first place that anyone was perfect. Second of all, if I were to even mention that word in some sort of sentence to refer to someone, I would say we, were, we are all perfectly imperfect. Just because perfection to me means the end. That's like the ending. This is why perfection does not exist because in our heads, to be perfect means to reach this certain goal, means to give, let's say, all the love that we can, means to have all the experiences that we wanted, maybe even read every single book that there is on this planet, that there to experience more joy, more happiness. To But the thing is, if when you give love, let's say to your family, you always have more love to give. There, there is never going to be a moment when you would will read every single book that there is on this planet. There's always going to be one more experience that you might want. There's always going to be one more goal. Even the universe itself is expanding. Even the universe, the it didn't stop and that's it. Even the universe is slowly expanding. Everything is evolving. Change is constant. And for that matter, perfection does not exist. Perfection would mean, okay, you reached a certain level and there's nothing above it, that's it. But there's always room for more, for improvement, for giving more love, for making another person happy, for giving one more smile, etc., etc. So let I wanted to start with that. So perfection does not exist. And everyone who is striving for perfection and makes sure that everything is perfect nothing will ever be perfect and those people will usually get frustrated or depressed or oh i can't believe this happened give up the idea that there is such thing as perfection unless you want to use it in the connotation of everyone is perfectly imperfect we're supposed to be imperfect i mean that, that that's the whole point so we can have more experience more be more and etc second of all I did say that every single opinion, every single belief, that doesn't have to be the same. I said in that text what I believe to be true. That's my belief. That's what I believe to be true. And I said, this is what I think. This is the difference. However, does not have to be your belief. You're completely entitled to your own opinion. The reason I'm sharing these videos is because when I was growing up, we didn't have this. We didn't have the methods. We didn't have the knowledge of there's something better that I can do something about it. We were taught that, you know, this is the cards you've been dealt with. And if they're frustrating, you should be frustrated. If they're happy, you should be happy. And, you know, that's pretty much the gist of it. And I never knew that, okay, I can actually control my thoughts. I can actually work on self-love. It's okay to love myself. I am not supposed to be worried about something, but 
Not worrying does not mean not caring, but I should focus on caring. I can change how I feel, even if the situations around me is not necessarily aligned with the feeling that I want, but the outside does not have to control my inside unless I let it. So, it's, and all of these things, when I learned, when I learned about the vibration, when I learned the methods which I could use to control my thoughts, not in, not in like a controlling way, you have to go in, in a bad, negative, low vibrational connotation, but just so, okay, I can actually change this change this i can shift this i can redirect my focus to something that i actually want i don't have to focus on the things that i don't want because now i know what i focus on grows so when i learned all of this when i got that type of knowledge the the the, the life changed for me and because i didn't have this when i was growing up because i didn't know anything about this i want to start First of all, this is all going to be my experience from the start. I said this in the first video I made for YouTube. My, um, my expansions, my challenges, I'll never reach that level of perfection at all. So I'm always going to be evolving, always going to be growing, probably always going to have contrast, always reaching for that high vibration to align with the new, uh, new wish or new desire. And... I always wanted to invite you in my journey so you can see that that is possible. Although I did test this before I started making these videos, but also to make you aware that you are powerful, to remind you who you are, to remind you that you can change the environment around you, that you can change your reality, that you can change what you look at. You know, when I'm paraphrasing now, but when, when Dwyer said, you know, some people get frustrated and some people are angry in this world. Some people are joyous and happy in this world. It's the same world. Again, I'm paraphrasing, but it, in that context, it's the same world. And it's up to us to decide to work on loving ourselves, to work on our healing, to work on our vibra vibration, to work on our personality to create our own personal reality and not to you know get our frustration out of someone or get the anger out on someone or get anything low vibrational or you know out on someone we can give someone a smile we can give someone an encouraging thoughts to for us to be the change and this is another thing i said in that text is that because this person afterwards started getting her frustrations onto, tr well, trying onto me, getting the fr frustrations out on me. However, I don't get triggered by these things. I always know that people are, whatever they are look uh, saying, is like they're looking themselves in the mirror. So this person was saying, well, I'm tired of hearing stuff like this. And don't look at videos like that if you are getting triggered by them, if you're tired of it. I you know, you see, let's say, a person on TV and you say, I don't know, shut up, stop talking, stop doing this, change the channel. Well, why should I change the channel? Because you just said you're tired of this person talking and they're, they're keep talking. So just change the channel. This goes the same way for every single one of you that is tired of watching whatever it is that you're watching. Stop watch, Stop watching the news. You don't like people that come on the news. You don't like politicians. You don't like, I don't know, what, whatever that is that you don't like. Stop watching it. It's as simple as that. So I gave this person just not even an advice. It was just, let's say, this is an example of what you could do maybe if it's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do. But maybe you could just stay away from social media for a while. If you get tired of this, and let's say this person had, I don't know, 50, 100, 200 videos that are similar to that one that are maybe triggering to this person. If you're tired of hearing this, then stop listening to it. Just stop. And I also 
make sure that when I watch certain things, I like certain things, I subscribe to certain things, I follow certain people, I comment, so that even the algorithm itself knows, okay, she likes this, she follows these types of people, she do, does this. So I get the content on social media that I like. So instead of you commenting, I'm frustrated at this, blah, 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 I'm tired of this. Well, go focus, change your focus onto things that you actually do like. And I also suggested that if this person wants the change, they have to be the change and then promote it in a healthy way. This is for so many different things. I'm just gonna, let's say, mention because a lot of people are trying to promote people being vegan. I have a person that is a mate of my partner that when they were vegan, they even said, I am not forcing anyone to be vegan. I started being vegan a few years ago and I like it. I'm not forcing anyone to do it. And I saw the benefits. I started noticing this. I had more energy, yada, yada, yada. That for me is a healthy way of promoting it if a person asks but just to go out somewhere are you vegan are you paying someone to to, to murder you for it? i don't know i'm tired of this i'm frustrated blah, blah, blah. do you really think people will go okay yes i want that from my experience let's say from my father that was that had good and bad things because when i was growing up obviously again i was younger and you know didn't know much no one taught me better Every single thing that he said, even if they were good and beneficial for me and would serve me and are smart things to do, I would reject everything just because I didn't want to end up like him. He's uh, still to this day a narcissist. He's still to this day, you know, frustrated a lot of the times, angry a lot of the times, gets that anger on others. And when I was growing up, Mostly what I would see is him being angry, frustrated, unhappy, depressed, insecure and just, you know, almost like punishing everyone else because he doesn't feel well. And every single thing that he said, I would in my head go no to that, no to that, no to that. Wouldn't even think whether that could be something that I could do, whether that could be something that would serve me, whether that that, that is may, maybe a good advice because he would hear someone else's advice or something on TV or would read something that would be really good and maybe he wouldn't be even implementing that himself, usually he wouldn't, but he would share that advice to other people. And, and as much as those were good, some of them were good things, I would just say no, because I don't want to be like you. I don't want to feel like you. I don't want to be miserable like you. So if any of you wants to promote anything like that, promote whatever you want to call it, be happy with it. First of all, be the change. Then let people see that that actually is, is serving you, that that actually does make you happy, that that actually made a difference in your life. And people who want to, will ask you, how did you do it? Oh, I want to try that as well. Can you teach me? But if you just go, I'm tired of this, I'm frustrated of this, you have to do this, how dare you do that? People will avoid it. Not a lot, not every single person, but a lot of people will be like, well, you're frustrated, you're angry, you're miserable, you're attacking me verbally, even if you don't say a bad word but you are getting this vomit out of your mouth, not literal vomit. Why would I in on earth even try something that you're, you know, trying to convince me that I should try when you have that behavior? That is a lot of people will stay away from those types of people, even if there is something good in their story, even if there is actually something that would be serving you. But because of the way that you're trying to convince people to do certain things, if you're with that attitude, you're not going to make much of a difference. You're just going to see in your reality more and more of what you don't want, more and more of what is 
not serving you you're gonna align with more things that are gonna make you more frustrated angrier etc etc so if you want to promote anything if you want to I, i'm saying promote probably there's a better word for it but english is not my <laughs> mother tongue so forgive me <laughs> if you want to anything even if it's i don't know the pollution the being vegan don't whatever it is be the change be that person that's gonna shine bright be that person that people will be oh my god wow they did something that makes them happy i want to ask them what what is it what is that magic what is it that changed you and again people will ask you when they ask you you can tell them and then you can tell them in that lovely way not in frustrated i'm angry i'm tired of this way because majority of people will stay away from that the only people that might get into those let's say groups would be either people who can't necessarily necessarily enter other groups so they're like well at least i have some tribe with me so at least it's something or you know you're also frustrated and tired and etc so you'll be with people that are like you i personally like having people around me that are happy that are joyous not a hundred percent of the time i like people that are not going to take their frustrations out of me out on me there's a difference between someone talking with you and listening to someone because they need someone to listen to them and there's a difference when someone does not care about anything but taking their frustrations out of them even if that you know might hurt others even if that might put other people down there's a difference complete difference and i'm there if someone needs a listening ear i'm there if someone you know because i was in the situation years ago when i needed just to get it out of me when i need i just needed one person to know and i know how sometimes that is difficult even just to say it out loud, let alone to find a person that is safe for that, that maybe wouldn't share it to others, that wouldn't judge you, that wouldn't just to be there to listen. So I, I, I like being that person because I feel like I've helped that person, even if I necessarily can't give any advice. But sometimes advice doesn't matter. It's just the fact that you're there, that you're listening, that you can come for this person is enough. However, some people do not care about that they just want to blah, 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 share their frustrations share their anger share their misery out i don't want to share that i want to share good things and i'm not having my channel to convince anyone of anything i'm not have i'm having it because when i heard of this i resonated with that and i wished i had it earlier and the more of this content is out the more people that are like me that needed something like this to hear that needed some you know information um some methods to hear that this is possible that maybe you'll motivate them to try it the 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 stories that i've heard the stories that i get texted and read it's just insane in in a good way in the positive way and that's all i want i want if this is something that can resonate with you and if there's just this little thing of hmm there's something maybe interesting in this or there's something in this maybe i can try maybe i can give it a go when i heard this i didn't uh, i didn't automatically straight away got oh the this big shift hallelujah fireworks whatever i tried failed tried failed tried failed get up go down got up go down stop doing this got up go down tried it again and in the end i was persisting in giving it an, another go not every single day in the beginning in the first few years even but let's give it another go let's give it another go after a month uh, let's give it another go and i kept doing that until i actually got the results and sometimes that's that's how you it's not a road for everyone some people are able to start something and actually do it every single day from where i was what my path was that was not me 
not because I didn't want it to be. It's just the, the, the amount of stuff I had within me, the amount of things I was dealing with. It's just at the time, the person I was, it just didn't work out like that. But it does not mean that it didn't work out at all. It's like working out, basically like working out. Sometimes you, you train, you do, people usually start in January, New, Re New Year's resolutions and whatnot, or before the summer they want to, and they try, and then they stop. But then some people try again in a, a week, take a break for two weeks, maybe try again in a month, take, take a break because it's not their habit of doing things, but they don't stop doing it. At the end of the day, even if they had a bigger gap, they give it another go, they give it another go, they give it, give it another go. And once I stopped overthinking, once I stopped thinking of it as a failure and just started thinking of, it happens, I skipped it, the world didn't end, we'll try to give it a go tomorrow. If it didn't give it a go tomorrow, okay, so. <laughs> like, it's, it's okay. Everything is, not, you know, the world isn't ending, it's fine. I'll just give it a go the, whenever. And when you have that sort of mindset, it's usually sooner than you might have think. Every single time you're like, I'll start Monday, I'll do it on the weekend, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it on... Usually when you don't, then you're like, oh, and then you don't want to do it at all, ever. I'm saying it's okay if you skip it, it's okay if you forget, it's okay if you're not bothered. In time, you'll see that that'll change that the, the happier it makes you, the better it makes you feel, you're not going to want to lose that. And in time, for some people, it'll be like that. And in time, it'll just be, okay, I can give this a go and do it regularly. Regularly could be two times a week, three times a week, but it doesn't have to be Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. You can be like, okay, now I, I I feel like I can do it. Now I feel like I have the time. Now I feel, let's do it now. Let's just, let's just do it. Let's just get it over with. Sometimes that's how I do things. Let, let's just get it over with. I don't even give it a lot of power. Let's just get it, you know, because if it's like that, it's easy for me. It might not be, but I'm like, oh, let's just get it over with. Come on. And then it's it's like taking the rubbish out. Let's just get it over with and then we're done. <laughs> Let's just do the dishes and then we're done. We, I don't have to think about it later. And, and, and that's, for me, how it works. Whereas when I try to, oh, yes, I'm motivated, I'll give it a go, I'll do this, I'll do that. Yes, I'm starting now, I'm never stopping, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, that, that was not it for me. For some, again, might work was not the case for me. And again, all of these things is, that I'm sharing is because there's another person who might win. Even one sentence in this video might click something for someone and change their whole lives. Even that. I don't even know what it was. Again, if you're hearing a noise, it's my stomach. <laughs> I'm going to have to start eating something really soon. So if you can't hear it, good. So uh, yes, I don't... I, I knew I wanted to make a video today, I just didn't know what it was. And like I said, this comment inspired me. And maybe this person was not intending for me to be inspired and did not know that it's actually going to be beneficial for me because I like talking about something that will help others. However, again, I just receive it as a sign and I don't get triggered by it. But that comes with a lot of work on someone, that comes with a lot of healing, uh, inside that comes on working on self-love that comes with understanding oneself uh, when you understand yourself you can also be authentic when you heal the parts of you that thought you that they were unloved you know it's all of these little things that add up and it it added up for me where I can if if something like this if I started, let's say, this channel maybe 10 years ago or seven years ago or, you know, prior, and if I were to receive these types of comments, maybe I would get triggered. Maybe I wouldn't respond in that way. Maybe I would start, you know, convincing this person, why is this the way it is? But I explained just in case there is that part of that person that wants to understand or maybe someone else will read this comment 
regarding that types of questions. Um, and But in the end, I did say everyone can have their own belief, can have their own opinion. It's okay if you don't share the same beliefs as I am. It's okay. In the last message that it, whatever this person, if they reply back, I know I'm not going to go into it because I gave it up my all. And if they still want to be frustrated and attacking someone, there's no point. In the end, I wrote sending you lots of love and I wish you healing. I wish because I see that I see what that means. That means someone hasn't healed certain parts of them that they're getting triggered. And if you're not healed, you're going to get triggered by certain things. So I wrote, I'm saying this in the kindest way possible because I don't get triggered by this. Get professional help and work on your healing because that's what the majority of people need. We all in some, on some levels need a therapist. We all need someone we can talk to. We all need someone that can maybe guide us, even just listen to us and work on our healing because when we don't heal, when we don't work on that part, we can get triggered by these things. And it could be even something that is not even related to this topic. Because when, you know, when you say, when you get triggered by, you know, something that happened in your past, it's not a memory, it's a response. You're reacting and it could be even something that your mother did when you were five. But because of whatever it is, a, se a sentence that were constructed, a word that was said, something was triggered and it's a completely different topic. But you can get triggered by this, but not because this person said anything bad or did anything bad, but because you still haven't healed from something that happened 10, 20, 30, 50 years ago, however long that may might have been. So if you are getting triggered, if you are constantly in that, you know, loop, frustrated anger, first, obviously, not first, but try all of these methods if you can, that you have my whole channel about, not just in this video. You have so many things on my YouTube channel uh, in the long videos. And also, if you can, I'm saying this again with the kinder, in the kindest way possible, get professional help. It's not anything to be ashamed of it's nothing that is making you less of an of a person everyone needs help everyone needs help people that have succeeded in whatever way that you think they're successful usually it's money you know successful businesses and whatnot even Beyonce you know, the singer, whatever area, they'll always say, I did not do it by myself. And I could never have done this by myself. There's always someone that helped someone. Even, I don't know if you watch this in England. Um, oh my God, what is, what is the show called? They, they basically fix old stuff. I'll just say it like that. So if someone had a doll or a clock or, you know, something that is really you know, in their family, they have so many memories about it. It's a, such a beautiful, I mean, the, the amount of times I cried watching that, sh that show, it's just so beautiful. And the, the, the main person that is, you know, presenting and it's, you know, let's say in that show, the, the main guy, again, I don't know the words in English at, at this, in this moment, but you know what I'm talking about. He was on, um, this show and he even said there was a time in his life when he was suicidal when he wanted to end his life when he just could not you know go any further and for some reason that didn't happen i won't go you know into all the details but then a another person soon after that offered help let lets them know that they'll help them that they'll be there for them and they say I can't believe I got that help. I can't believe how lucky I was. But because I got help, I am the way that I am today. I am where I am today. And the experiences that I had, I never thought I'll be here. And that this is even possible for me. And the amount of stories that you have like that, it's the help. Sometimes it's the help that you hire. But it's the help. Sometimes it's your, sometimes it's even the videos like this. Sometimes it's just even a sentence that someone helped you. 
you know, here or anything. There are so many types of help that you can get. But if someone is trained, professional in, in healing, in listening to you, in guiding you, then why not? Why not help yourself with getting help and just have a better life? Because as long as you're on low vibration, you're aligning with more things that are on low vibration. Once you get higher, you'll get more things on that vibration. You'll get a better life, healed life, more joyous life, happier life. It's fine to be low. We have these, all of these emotions, not so we can feel bad about them. But they're indicating that something in your life needs to change needs to change and sometimes with professional help just find someone that is working for you not every single professional is good find someone that resonates with you that you can you know trust that you feel like okay this person could actually be helpful for to me when you find that person when they help you i mean don't be afraid to ask for help but ask the the right people and I've, I've even texted someone in my DMs because they were really grateful for all, for all the content. And they said, you know, it's nice to have someone to, to share like this, this and, you know, someone acknowledging that, that it's okay that if I need help. And I said, yes. However, make sure you ask for help to the right person. Because a lot of us want to ask for help, someone from our family members, let's say, that we deep inside know they won't be helpful. But they're, you know, sharing their advices. They'll tell you not to feel this. They'll tell you not to do that. They'll, and it's going to be, you know, completely the opposite of the effect that you want. So make sure if you need help to ask the right person, not someone that's going to bring you down, not someone that maybe you want them to understand you, but you know that maybe they're not ready or they're not in that state of mind. And that's why professional help is usually the way to go. Because these other people that love us so much, they just don't know how to. They don't know how, they maybe don't even know how to listen to us, how to understand us. Usually people listen so that they can reply back, not listen so that they can understand. Find person that will listen to you that will go from a point of view of understanding, not replying back to you. I'm really hoping this video helped you. I still don't know what I'm gonna call this video. Just mumbo jumbo or everything. Or I'll just title it the explanation, something like that. But not so I need to convince you of something. I just want the best for you. I want you to have a happy life. I want you to have a joyous life. You are deserving of all the love, of all the great things, of making your dreams come true, of being that vibrant, thankful, high vibrational energy self. That's the whole point of reminding you that you are powerful, of reminding you that you are deserving, of reminding you of who you are which is an, this amazing, incredible being that can make their dreams come true, that can live happily ever after. That's the whole point of my channel. And if you're resonating with any of this, and when you do, when you hear the methods, when I'm telling you what to do, not telling you, you know, telling you, but, you know, explaining what help me might help you, do it. Don't just wait it around. Don't wait someone else to, you know, motivate you. Motivate yourself. Surround yourself with this type of knowledge, whether from books, whether from videos. Surround yourself, if you can, with maybe new people who will share this with you. Because a lot of us, even to this day, there will be people who will not be in that type of, you know, um, I, I, don't, I don't know what to call it. They, they won't do this. Maybe you want someone to do this with. You can always meet someone new. Make sure that this that can help you, whatever that may be for you, that you, you do it. Like exercises. You hear exercises. You see exercises. You read about them. Don't just sit there waiting for your body to be like all shape and whatever it is that you want. Do something about it. Work on yourself. 
for yourself, by yourself. Love yourself because you should love yourself, not because you're going to become a narcissist because, again, that's not happening. I have that somewhere on in my videos. You can find a link in down below. I know I mentioned it somewhere. And I'll link how to love yourself if you don't want know and want to learn how to. And just start from there. Start from anything that resonates with you, anything that is you know, on that higher vibration, anything that makes you feel thankful, anything that you know when you finish that you feel better. Even with exercising, you can think, okay, if I even just exercise this five minutes, I only have five minutes. And you can, like I said, have exercises that you can do in bed. So you can even do it and do them in bed. I have this five minutes. If I just lay there, don't do nothing, watch a show, watch my phone, will I feel better after five minutes? By doing that or will I feel better if I exercise or do something for me or take time for myself, take care of myself, whatever works for you. I'm just reminding you, you're powerful, you're lovely, you're worth of living happily ever after. However, sometimes that comes with working on yourself, working on loving yourself, working on healing, working on loving the parts of ourselves that we think they're unlovable, etc, etc. Love you so much. I'm hoping this video made sense somehow. Love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.